on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back at Game with back video. Today, we're getting into XG, Winter Without You, first take. Y'all requested this one. You said, wait till he gets to this one. Wait till Winter Without You. And I got to do the first take because it's live and it's in one take to really kind of feel it and, and see the talent and yada, yada, yada. So, we're here. We made it. I'm excited. Let's jump right into it. Hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. All right. It's just them and some mics. Live. One take, no music video, no nothing. I'm ready. The raw talent. Oh, they have a little bit of... Hi, hi, hi. Onegaishimasu. Yeah, there's a little bit of processing on those mics. A little bit of auto-tune. Very subtle. Oh, 
Wow. Incredible, dude. Incredible. I got chills like six, seven times. I don't know. Somewhere between like six and ten times throughout that whole song. I just kept getting chills when they would, at different parts, man, when they would just let it loose and then the harmonies and then the the runs a little bit and some of the projecting. I was just, it just sounded so good, okay? This isn't 100% raw, okay? There is EQ and compression on here, a little bit of uh, reverb, a little bit of auto-tune, but it's very minimal just to kind of polish everything and and make it a little cleaner and a little bit tighter, right? But it's it's pretty close to 100% raw. And that's, that's basically what you're going to get with any live show anywhere is just the very base level of a few different processing tools just to keep it a little tighter and clean. And that's it. You can't fake the skill. Even though it's got a little bit of auto-tune, a little bit of this compression and EQ and stuff, that still isn't going to make a bad singer sound good. It's only going to clean things up just a little bit. It's just this thing about polishing something that's already clean. You're just putting this little top layer on it, right? So it's like a 5% thing. It's very minimal. You can't make them sound good if they're not good. They are good singers. They have good pitch with their ear. They have good vocal control. They have good breath control. You can't fake any of that stuff, right? So they sound very good. I love the harmonization on here. That is not easy to do with that many people and all in one take, right? And of course, I'm sure they've performed this song a million times, but still, there's a lot going on here and they do it so effortlessly and every one of them has very good timing and control over their tone, over their breath. I mean, everything. There's a little, there's just little details throughout here that I noticed that show a little bit of a higher level of experience because the mics do seem a little hot. They were picking up some background noise like when they came in. So when you take that in consideration, they had to be a little bit careful with their breath, right? Their breathing. And I think they did a very good job unless they post edited, you know, cut out some of those breaths. But for me, it looked like they had a lot of control going on. They sounded really good. And here's a here's another thing, right? This is a Japanese K-pop group hybrid, right? They're a Japanese group based out of South Korea that also are singing in English and singing a Christmas song. So you have to take into consideration, English is not their first language, okay? I think it's their third. It's either their second or third. And they sing all the time in English, and they do it very well. So... It's very impressive, man. The These group of girls are impressive inside music and outside of music, right? They speak three languages. They can dance. They can sing. They can rap. Like, they really do have a very well-versed group of girls here and, and a lot of talent going on. So I enjoyed this a lot. And now I want to check out the music video. But they sound really good. They can sing, okay? And their, their voices are very angelic. Like, a couple of them... I love when they they let it rip a little bit and some of that power comes through and the the tone and richness comes through in their voice and they project a little bit. I really like when they do that. And I'm getting a little bit of Ariana Grande vibes with a couple of them at certain times just because the tone of the voice and the notes that they hit is very similar. And that's a huge compliment because Ariana Grande is a freaking nature with singing. They sound so good. I really enjoyed this a lot and I'm ready for more XG for sure. These girls are very talented. Some of their songs... A little too pop, a little too whatever for me, not feeling, but some I really, really enjoy and I have on my playlist and I continue to listen to them because they just sound really good. So I'm excited to jump more into them. Hopefully I'll keep adding more of the songs to my list and we'll keep it going. So that'll do it for today's reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a video every day. If you're not new here, welcome back. Appreciate the love and support. You don't have to do, leave some comments down below. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you not like this? Is this your favorite XG song ever or is it your least favorite? Let me know in that comment section for you. If you're a fan of XG, be sure to support XG. You always support the artist, the band, the YouTuber, entertainer, whoever's making content and music for you. Support that person. So with all that being said, hope you have a great day. Send a positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out. Trust in me